Are stimulus checks a thing of the past? Will those on a fixed income actually get a stimulus check? When is it going to happen? We've got July payment stimulus checks for this month. Yes, it's our last week of July. Well, almost. And we need to figure out which states are actually sending them out. We have all that information and how much they're sending right here in this video. If you're on a fixed income, you're definitely going to want to hang around to the end. We've got a ton of information specifically just for you as well as Marjorie Taylor Greene found some FBI documents work with them and guess what she actually has evidence on what's happening with Joe Biden and Hunter Biden here's the biggest thing with actual proof actual documents actual evidence should they be impeached we're going to talk about it all in this video as well as stimulus checks social security information so this video is loaded with information you do not want to miss Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another show. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We've got the most updated stimulus checks, but is it a thing of the past or are more states actually going to be proactive and actually send out checks to their residents? It's a long time coming. You definitely need the help financially. Inflation is actually going up. They're actually making interest rates higher. Yes, today. And what does that mean for the average American people? What about those that don't even make over $50,000 a year? The strain financially is just unbearable and it's throwing your budget out of whack. That's why we've come to you with the updated stimulus check information on which states are sending out stimulus checks this month and actually how much are they sending them is it going to seniors is it going to just those that file taxes is it going to ssi ssdiva survivor we've got all the details right here so let's jump in stimulus checks in july of 2023 which states pay and how much learn about the states that will deliver stimulus checks or tax refunds in july here's how to request the financial assistance and what the amounts are stimulus checks in july of 2023 which states pay it and amounts colorado being number one on the list they're working with a property tax rebate a rental and heating credit these are the eligibility requirements for this benefit. Number one, you've had to live in Colorado from January 1st to 31st in 2022. Have a total income of less than 16,000 for single taxpayers, 22 for married filing jointly. Be aged over 65, surviving spouse age 58 or older, disabled person of any age who has qualified for full benefits. And what they're saying is if you apply, you could actually receive a refundable tax credit of up to $1,000. Massachusetts, it's next on the list. They're going to give you approximately 14% of their state tax liability or whatever's less of how much you actually get back. New Mexico state residents will receive a refund for $500 for single filers, $1,000 for joint. But what about those that don't file taxes? Well, you're actually still eligible and they're going to keep that eligibility going on till next year of May 31st, 2024, which is some very, very great news for those that file taxes and those that do not file taxes. Pennsylvania is next on the list. They're also doing a property rental tax refund program, which benefits eligible Pennsylvanians age 65 and older, widows and widowers over 50 years of age, and people with disabilities over the age of 18. Very exciting news for those in Pennsylvania. And if that wasn't enough, we've got Delaware, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Maine, and Massachusetts. Now, I know that a lot of times when it comes to these states and how much they're sending, when they're sending it, who's actually going to be eligible, it really solely depends on every individual state. Alabama was on the list. Texas, Florida, and New York also made it to the list, but they've kind of been at a standstill waiting on things to actually fall in place and the right number to come across the board. They're waiting to see, okay, how much can we physically 
physically actually give without breaking the bank. We've got to save for a rainy day. That's kind of like with every state in case they have a state of emergency. But at the same time, some of that money does need to go to many residents who are struggling just to make ends meet. Now with those states that we read off, if you have any questions, let us know down in the comments below. Now moving on to Marjorie Taylor Greene. Why is this so important? Why is it so big? Well, because here's the thing. There's a lot of classified documents, a lot of information out there that is kind of deterring everybody from what the truth is. And even though they found evidence, the FBI documents, they have all the proof. They have everything they need. WhatsApp text messages. They can tell you exactly what had happened. But the thing is, no one's doing anything about it. In fact, she can tell you for herself right here in this video. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On January 21st, 2021, I introduced articles of impeachment against Joe Biden. And less than two weeks later, I was kicked off all of my committees by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. They said it was for Facebook comments and replies and likes, but we all know the truth. It was because my articles of impeachment on Joe Biden were correct. Move forward on an impeachment inquiry on Joe Biden because this type of corruption should never be allowed to stand. I get it. Many of you guys don't agree. Many of you guys do agree. But here's the biggest thing. Can we not just make things fair? Can we not make it right? We don't have to go around and give more favoritism to others. Why don't we do things the right way? That's why I always said, if I run for president, I'm going to run the campaign slogan, let's all win, because it should be everybody winning, not just a particular group. Whether you agree or disagree, we've got to come together and find a happy median so that way everybody wins, everybody's happy, and we can move along in the best direction for this country. Again, you and I both know that there's a lot of things that need to change, especially when it comes to elderly citizens, those homeless people, our border security. I think there's a lot of things that need to be fixed. I think there's always room for improvement, but when is it actually going to happen? We've got just a little over six months left in the year. Will things get better or will they take a turn for the worse? Advisors have already said that the United States is entering into a recession and will continue until, especially next year, the first quarter, January, February, March. Yes, that's going to be a recession time. So what should we do? Is there an answer? Let me know down in the comments below. You guys have been a great audience. Thank you for your love and support. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all the news and join the family. Guys, you're amazing. I love you. I appreciate you. And until next time, I'm John Miro. Peace.